Hi everybody, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Ashura Motale. And before we go any further, don't forget as always, please click on the subscribe button this is to get you updated about my new videos and to keep me in action. What do I have today? Yes, this is about what does a good guy want? Remember, just as much as some people might think uh, good guys do not exist, trust me, they do really exist. And good guys are not that complicated. They simply want a few things, you know, they won't make your life a living hell because they well know they didn't marry an angel. Remember, they are usually good, simple, they don't, they're not overly expectant, like highly expecting you to be a superhuman. So, yes, today's video we are looking at what a good guy wants. So, if you have a good guy for your husband, then you are a blessed, yes, among the most blessed women in the universe. And please do not take that for granted. Yes, thank Allah about it. Point number one. A good guy wants this. You know how much some women are so much more of the iron women. They are so nagging. They want to know each about everything from A to Z. But they keep nagging the man over even nothing. That's not good. Good guys always and yes they do want peace so give him peace try as much as you can not to be that overly talking all the time you know when you talk too much you sometimes talk nonsense sometimes you get over so try to give him peace yes good guys love peace they love a peaceful environment a guy loves it when their woman has the ability to express love constantly. Do not be this on and off woman grumpy all the time. You know, this is a turn off for the man. So a good guy told you in the first place, he does not of course expect you to be an angel because he well knows a married human being who can't be a hundred percent perfect. And so, the fact that he knows you're not an angel, he will not expect you to do things that are extraordinary. But at least, yes, he wants his woman to be in position and to have the ability to express love constantly. This is on a day-to-day -day life. I mean, not being an on and off woman Switching this to that, today you're showing him love, the other day you're off, you're grumpy about just even about nothing. Yes, try as much as you can to express your love to him, that you do care for him. This really makes it count. The thing that a good guy wants is the ability to argue constructively without putting a fight. You know how women get overboard, like they want to prove they have the, the engine, they are the drivers, this is a really bad thing. I told you in the first place that a good guy wants peace. Of course, he does not expect you to be an angel, meaning you could be disagreeing about some things with him. Especially that he's a human, there could be things that he does that you're not impressed about. So your ability to argue out constructively without breaking into a fight. Because remember, you don't have to fight to sort things out. Things can be argued out in a peaceful way and make your partner feel like, yes, indeed, I was wrong. And he will have that 
you know, he will feel, you know, the courage to say, I'm sorry. And in most cases, yes, this is what we want. Another point is a good guy loves his woman to love him without comparisons. You know, relationships, these are not competitions. I mean, we're not competing for anything. Do you have the ability to love him without comparisons, without comparing him to this and that, bringing in your excess and how much your, well, you know, your ex used to do this and yet he does not do that, you know, bring those comparisons. These take away men's peace. These things make men feel like they are not doing enough, like they are not being appreciated. Yes, so try as much as you can. I told you, my dear one, sis, there are good guys out there. So when you are blessed with lumpers, do not take him for granted. Try as much as you can to just do not even bring in anything got to do with the ex. With your ex used to do something for you, just swallow it. This is another human being that you are with. You don't have to keep referring back to him, you know, bringing those conversations, bring those comparisons. This is a turn off. Good men love their women to have the ability to love without comparisons. Firstly, a good guy would love his woman to have the ability to accept challenge. Yes, you know, sometimes as human we would love so much to prove a point, like we are better in this and we can do better than them. So that this does not work. Yes, accept challenge. If he does something better than you, yes, just accept it. Because you cannot be the best at just everything. And if you do something wrong, and he tries to challenge you, he tries to show you what you did was not actually proper or good at all, accept the challenge. Do not always be that I want to prove a point. Like, I can be challenged. This makes him feel like he's not man enough. This, this makes him feel like you are always at the top of the game. So, when need be, yes, please, accept the challenge. Okay? Yeah, well, sometimes it might not be that um, unnecessary that you have to be accepting the challenge. But then sometimes maybe you have to to just create peace and good harmony and then later on bring it back in a good way in a peaceful way and try to give your reasons as to why you never thought it wasn't really so appropriate for what he told you but not always Spitting him off. This is not good. Yes. Good men want their women to have the ability to accept challenge. That's been it for today. Yes, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. That's if you missed it out. In the beginning of the videos, yes, that you began watching the video. Please click on the subscribe button. This is a way to keep you updated about the new videos and this is a way to keep you in action. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to share this video. I do love you for the sake of Allah.